फॉर बिजनेस लेटर दिस इज फ्रॉम यूनिट फाइव See, there are thirteen points in there that you will have to write as a form of the business letter. First point is the heading. In the heading, you will have to write the addressing that is called like to the director, to the managing director. <laughs> Mumbai. So in this way, we will have to write the heading. This is the very first point. After that, you will have to write the date. The date will be written in this way. Like today is the date is the thirty. So the date will be thirty January two zero two three. Okay. This way. Don't write thirtieth January. Okay. Otherwise, you can write in the another way. That is called January thirty two zero two three. Coming to the third point, that is called the reference number. Reference number. What is reference number? Reference number is used in the way that is for the future purpose. Whenever we are writing the business letter, in the business letter, the reference number will be written in this way. Like suppose the name of my company is Ankit Private Limited. So we will have to write in the name Ankit for A, Private for B, and Limited for L. Okay, so reference number will be written in this way: A P L slash. Today's date is thirty, so it will be thirty. Month is one three zero zero one. Then year is twenty three. And after that, there are so many kinds of letter like inquiry letter, sending quotation letters, and others. If yeah, we feel that it is the inquiry letters, we will have to write it as E. So this is the way for writing a reference number. Here the reference number are two types. First is called the hour reference number. Second is called the year reference number. Two types of reference number you should use in that way. Coming to the next one, attention line. What is attention line? Attention line is written in the way that is to whom I am writing this letter. to whom i am writing this letter that to uh, give a promptness to a letter that is called attention line suppose i am writing for the attention line the sales manager so this is uh, my attention line after that to whom i am writing the letter his address that is called the inside address another name of the inside address is called the receiver's address Receiver's address will be written in that way. That is called inside address. So these are the first five points like heading, date, reference number, attention line, and inside address. After that, coming to the second part, it starts with the salutation. Salute. What is salutation? To salute a person through the letter. That is called salutation. In the salutation, we will have to write, dear sir. oblique madam this is our salutation okay remember in the business letter we do not have to write the respected sir oblique madam we will have to write is at the dear sir oblique madam okay normally whenever we are writing an application we will have to write the subject first after that salutation but in the business letter we will have to write the salutation first after that we will have to write the subject okay subject will be written in that way according to inquiry letter according to the sending quotation letter according to the placing an order letter in that way we will have to write the subject after that the body of the letter in uh, the business letter the body of the letter should be written have to 3 to 4 paragraphs okay the entire part of the business letter will be written into 3 to 4 parts Coming after that uh, body of the letter, it comes the complimentary close. Okay, whenever we will have to write the complimentary close, we will have to write first thanking you, thanking you, yours sincerely. Okay, these two words, these two lines, we will have to write as a form of the complimentary close. After that, we will have to. 
write the signature, the signature of the writer, then the name, then the designation. Designation means business letter has been written in the two way. That is one side it will be the purchase manager, another side it will be the sales manager. So we will have to write it as a purchase manager, otherwise we will have to write the sales manager. Then comes the identification mark. Okay, identification mark is the initial name of a person. Suppose the, write, the, the name of the business letter writer is Ankit Mishra, so then we will have to write it here A full stop M. Okay. So I, what is identification mark? Identification mark is the initial of the business letter. Coming to the next part that is called enclosure. What is enclosure? Enclosure is the attachment of the business letter. Suppose whenever you are coming for the admission, you have to write uh, your all details in a form. So in this way, enclosure is the attachment you will have to write with the business letter. Okay, and coming to the last part that is called the point number 13, copy notation. To whom we will have to deliver our letter. So, copy notation are three types. First is C, second is CC, third is BCC. C means copy, CC means carbon copy, and BCC means blind carbon copy. Okay, blind. Blind carbon copy. So this way we will have to write the 13 points of the business letter and in this business letter are called the elements of structure for the business letter. Okay.